So the Galaxy Note 9 has always been one that's brought new innovation year after year, moving with each different note. And of course, the S Pen has been the constant across the board. Now, the S21 Ultra isn't a note, but it supports an S Pen as well as a Z Fold 3. But fear not, the Galaxy S22 Note, sorry, I meant S22 Ultra is right here. Now, this device basically is a Galaxy Note. There's a reason why I'm making that mistake because it embodies everything the Note has from the design to feel. But I can tell you what I use this device for from a day-to-day -day basis. I use it to take notes, capture content, watch content and play games, which means I'm doing a lot of work constantly on this device. So let's start off with, of course, taking notes and capturing content. That's one of the things that I really love about the Galaxy S22 Ultra. It's got the S Pen. Now the S Pen is a simple and effective tool. Yes, I can take notes and trust me, I have a ton of notes on this device. Whether it's just writing simple phone numbers, you know, quick notes, or even taking notes down while I'm at a meeting or a WebEx call with a client, it does the job and I can also type it out. It may sound like something that you can do on any device, but trust me, having the pen that's this precise to showcase my terrible handwriting does the job fantastically. But the other aspect also is when I am creating content, right? So we went out into the city, grabbed some coffee, uh, looked at some content for a little bit and decided to just walk around and take some photos within the city. Now the cameras are solid and I don't want to get too much into the cameras, but honestly check out my camera comparisons uh, with, you know, the iPhone as well as also the Exynos version. There's so much camera samples there in, in those videos. Um, but capturing content around the city was really unique because I could use my S Pen as a remote clicker. That's something a lot of people don't necessarily know about it, but I think it's truly amazing. You don't have to wave your hand. You don't have to ask anyone if you're by yourself and you don't want to disturb anyone. You place your phone down, position, and start snapping and take poses. Now, I apologize, most of my images look kind of crooked, but that's just my fault. But you get the idea there that you can actually do that here. And of course, you've got tons of different camera modes. One of them, of course, is, uh, you know, portrait video. Now, this time we're using ColorPoint, which came out spectacularly well here, but it's got um, a downside to it, right? I'm recording outside, Daniel's helping me record, and you can't really hear what I'm saying because there's so much wind and noise. Now imagine if the S Pen had a built-in microphone in there, that will actually be pretty cool because I could clip it or put it in my shirt and you get better audio. Now, that's not just my idea, this was my friend, Jonathan Casey, he brought this up, so big shout out to him. Go check out his channel, it's got some good stuff. But that is something that can add more flexibility to this device. And that's why I'm really excited about it because there's more that can be done with the S Pen. And already it's hit a, a great peak that I truly like, right? So capturing content, I can do that quite well with this device. And it does a really good job. The cameras are solid enough for it. Daytime photos, nighttime photos, capturing videos, creating TikToks, all that kind of fun stuff with this on a regular basis. But now, of course, what about consuming content? Consuming content is something we all do, and I do that quite a lot myself. Now, you're wondering, okay, fine, does this make the S22 Ultra special? Yes and no. Well, you've got a larger display, but not just a larger. It is a bright, vibrant display, right? Allowing you to watch those TikTok videos to fullest capacity, and you can watch them, tons of them, or, you know, watching Instagram Reels, um, even if you're doing more than just watching and multitasking. Yes, I said multitasking because that's a feature that Samsung spearheaded years ago. And I'm not talking about just going from one app to the other. I'm talking about having a multitask split screen, being able to have Twitter on top or, and maybe YouTube below. Being able to do more with the device and having such a bright, sharp display if I'm doing this outdoors, I'm doing this at home, or just looking at the images that I just took make a lot of sense. Now, there's more to consuming content than just the display. There's also the speakers. And yeah, look, Samsung has done a really good job in the past with your speakers. Uh, having Dolby Atmos is a great thing, but I will have to say though, especially when I did my speaker test, 
I felt a little bit let down by the quality of audio I was getting from the Galaxy S22 Ultra this year in comparison to what I've had in the past. And that also goes to with Bluetooth audio. But before I go ahead, and some of you might think, huh, maybe Thunder is just tripping. Let's, let's take a quick listen here to uh, audio of the device. Okay, it's not bad, it's, it's good, but it could be better. And you guys have seen my speaker comparison. If you haven't, go watch it. But this brings us to our sponsor of this video, Qualcomm with Snapdragon Sound. The reason I like Snapdragon Sound and I think it's very important, it's not just because they're the sponsor of the video. Look, yes, that's really cool. But it's because I like good audio. Guys, I've got a headphone wall. I would rather have a wired audio um, experience, but we are, we've moved away from that and having quality audio through Bluetooth connectivity is really important. And that's what Snapdragon Sound brings to the table. It brings premium audio, brings lossless audio, which means I can have the same quality as those headphones over there, and also brings in stability uh, in terms of stability of connections and all the different codecs you expect like Aptex, Aptex HD, and also a stability when you're also gaming and listening to audio off your gaming headset. So whether you're using, you know, these like Snapdragon Sound headphones or any compatible headphones, it would be great to see that technology in the Galaxy S22 Ultra. And honestly, Samsung, I'm asking you to do this because I think this will make the experience better. It will bolster what we are actually doing with Dolby Atmos and will make the listening experience one that you can definitely sit down, enjoy, and of course, just drink some coffee with it. So I, I, I want to see Snapdragon sound with this device. But look, besides that, right, the audio experience is good, but how does that relate to one of the best things that I do like to do on any device, which is gaming? All right, so gaming is something that's really important to me and a lot of people who have smartphones that of course, at this caliber. Now, the gaming experience here is of two folds. And I mentioned two folds because there's an Exynos variant. And look, I've covered a lot of that in my Exynos versus Snapdragon. Definitely go check out that video. But the one thing I will say is that a lot of the games just need updates. So I will give it that space for updates to happen. Um, but definitely go check out those videos. Now, what about my own gaming experience uh, the last two months using the uh, S22 Ultra Snapdragon variant? Well. It's been absolutely solid. I mean, across the board, it's been solid. Every game has functioned well. I even just played uh, Genshin Impact recently just to see if there's been a better improvement because you know how that game can be just uh, tasking on a lot of systems. And it's gone a little bit better. I start off in the first 15 minutes, it's running at 60 frames per second. Then after that, it kind of drops down to about 50, 51. So, that's kind of the range I've been with gaming on this device. Then you're wondering, okay, if you game that much, if you are using it to create content, if you are consuming content, what's your battery life like, huh? With this device. Well, I'll put this this way. I am a power user, I'll put it that way. I, I use this device heavily on a day-to-day -day basis. And I took a look at my screen on time. Granted, I don't like the start of screen on time. And my average came down to roughly six hours. You can check, it was like five, 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 four hours, 52 here, six, six, you, you get the idea. So six hours of battery life, you know, six hours of screen on time with this device is quite interesting. I will say that my, my device lasts from nine to around 5 p.m. if I have it at QHD, and then lasts about 9 p.m. if I have it at 1080p. So, Take it whichever way you will, but I use this device quite a bit. I will just say that I would like to see better improvements with the way Samsung handles its battery management. So I can actually use this device for longer periods of time. And honestly, 45 watt charging Samsung, come on. You guys started this, people have 120, please. But anyway, look, that's beside the point. The S22 Ultra as a device, is one that I am very happy for. I am a Note user. I started with the very first Galaxy Note when people thought 
a device with a five inch display was massive. I think 5.5, I could be wrong with the exact numbers. I remember the articles then, and now everyone has a big phone. The difference is this phone with the size has a lot of functionality built into it. And Note users are happy, and if you're asking me the question, should I make that switch from my previous Note, whichever version you have, the answer is yes. Yes, there are things they need to improve, but honestly, Samsung has brought the Galaxy Note line into the S22 line, or the S line in general, and it's made it something worth picking up. So, I'm gonna leave it there for you guys there. Hopefully you enjoyed my rambling and my approach here, because Daniel didn't. He made me record this five more times. Yeah. yeah, exactly, right? Just to get it right. But anyway, thank you very much, guys, and enjoy your entertainment and catch us on the next video.